Hey guys, it's been a while since I recorded a voiceover for one of my speed drawers, so I thought I'd just go ahead and do one for today. Um, I hope you like it. Like, I have had mixed feedback on the voiceovers for speed drawers. Like, I personally really like it. But please let me know in the comments if you hate my voice and you'd rather just have some music. Or if you like hearing from me and um, your little podcast type speed drawer. Um, so yeah, what I'm drawing today is something for my Cartoon Heroes map. Um, it's another backup part that I'm taking on because, like, if you've ever run a map or participated in a map, it's a multi-animated project and it's like a fan community project where you divide up like a song or a video and everyone animates like a few seconds. Um, and it's really fun and lovely and everyone makes such a lot of awesome animation apart from the people who don't and like unfortunately have to drop out or lose track of people off the internet so it's been quite stressful running one um, and I've just recently taken on a couple more backup parts um, but that's been good because I get to draw a trigon um, which is one of my all-time favorite animes it's, um, there's a manga of it as well but I really love the anime I think because the soundtrack is awesome the madhouse animation is like gorgeous and um, like I love the English dub because like it's got Johnny Young Bosch Ichigo in it and it's full of memories um, so I've actually never watched the Japanese dub um, but like I really like that's that's the voices I picture in my head when I read the manga now. Um, uh, I know there's like still lots of um, drama over dubs or subs and like I'm on both sides of it because like sometimes like the English dub is great and sometimes it's fine and then sometimes it's terrible. <laughs> like recently um, the Jojo Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Battle Tendency, that dub, they dubbed Jojo's voice with a really um, fake English accent and obviously it draws to me more as an English person, um, so I notice it more, um, but also it's like, that's not what his voice is supposed to sound like, he's like eight feet tall and you give him like a really high pitched voice, like, oh, Hello, I'm Joseph Joestar. It's like, what? <laughs> um, and like, I haven't even watched any of the other English dubs of JoJo yet, actually, because, um, like, Phantom Blood is fine, but it's just fine. <laughs> um, and when it gets to, like, the third and fourth parts, the Japanese dub has Daisuke Ono in it, who's one of my favourite voice actors. A beautiful boy. Um, so I don't want to betray Daisuke Kun. Um, do you have any strong opinions about anime dubs? Please let me know in the comments. Like, it's fun to like hear what other people have to think about it. Um, if you want to talk trash about the JoJo dub with me, or the Pokemon Sun and Moon dub, um, the professor in that he should have a much more handsome voice. It's betrayal cuts me to my heart every time I hear it. It's, it's not right, it's not right. Hashtag give pretty anime boys pretty English voices in 2018. Oh, I mean, it's like 2015 then. <laughs> you know the days like seem to like blur together when you do the same thing for a while. I've been working from home for a little while um, and I have been looking after um, couple of dogs lately I've been dog sitting so that's been pretty busy um, and like I love dogs they're the best um, but like as anyone knows if you are looking after any sort of um, well pretty much any animal that needs attention and care it's quite um, exhausting <laughs> especially this one because she was a bit naughty bless her <laughs> Um, yeah, what else have I been doing lately? Um, I have been working on my entry for Manga Jiman, 
which is a manga competition in the UK run by the Japanese Embassy. So I've been working on my entry for that, which unfortunately I can't publish until after the results are out. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> At one point I got seventh place twice in a row and I haven't placed since. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best this year, fall down seven times, get up eight in it. Um, Although hopefully it'll be four down three times, get up four times. <laughs> um, and I have also been working on some new comics and a new mini zine. Should be coming soon, hopefully. Um, it's going to be a mixed media kind of more arty zine again. Um, but it's going to have gold foil and it will look super pretty, I hope. Um, and. I've been working on getting the print um, edition of Heartstrings, like dragging it, kicking and screaming towards production. <laughs> um, like if you've ever made a print book um, and had trouble with the colour formatting, you'll know my pain. Um, but this is my first print book that I've ever made. Um, and it's a long one, it's got 48 pages altogether, including the cover. Um, so, like, it's a lot of colour formatting to go wrong. Um, but I have a good friend who I'm paying to do it, so it's not my problem anymore. So that that is coming closer to production. Um, and aside from that, I've started re-watching OK KO. Um, if you haven't watched it, like, it's it's so funny and, like, the the, the characters are wholesome, the, the jokes are so perfectly timed, like, some of the character designs are a little, like, janky, like, especially, like, their noses and their circle fists, um, but, like, I think it was a worthwhile compromise to, like, simplify all the hands and stuff because they've really pushed like the animation and like all the gags go like uh, they're so exaggerated and, and like all the fights are really like well animated and um, especially compared to like some other cartoons that are out at the moment um, like I don't know like Powerpuff Girl Z and like um, like a lot of other like action actiony cartoons like the fights don't have any impact because they don't have any like animation and um, I don't know for like various reasons like the show producers seem to be like afraid to like push it <laughs> but like okay KO like every time a robot um, gets get smacked they explode and when someone gets thrown on the floor there's like a huge crater appearing um so they're they're definitely not afraid to push things i think maybe because it's like a more video game inspired world almost like they are like yeah we can have more crazy things happening um so yeah, I absolutely adore OKKO OK lately and I would give it a 10 out of 10 if you haven't watched it yet. Um, also it's really cute because the relationship between KO and his mom is just like the most pure thing ever. <laughs> um, it's really nice to see like a, like a good healthy relationship in a like, piece of television media like there's, there's just never enough of that like people's parents are either like never there or um, conveniently orphaned or something so um, it feels really really lovely um, like Steven Universe um, a lot of the crew that worked on OKKO okay I think are like friends of Steven Universe and worked on Steven Universe I think Ian the showrunner is married to Rebecca Sugar so he, he worked on Steven Universe and they have kind of a similar way of like looking at characters and story and stuff I think um, and yeah it's just like some people were trashing it because it's a bit less like pretty than Steven Universe but like I think as well it doesn't suffer from any of the like pacing problems 
when you have like Ronaldo episode and it's like, oh, I don't care about this guy. Or like when the, um, you get like a juicy bit of lore and then it goes back to the townies. Um, you don't get that in OKKO. Um, um, because like for whatever reason, I think the show is just paced a little differently. And there isn't like the split between lives or as well. Like, um, I know in Steven Universe, like, I think it's cool that they tried so, like, they made it a point to focus like 50% on the human characters and 50% on the crystal gems, but like, we're all human characters anyway. <laughs> And the crystal gem arcs are often like some of the more interesting ones. Um, so like, I don't know, like the party arc and like Peridot and Lapis in the barn arc. Like, I can't remember whose party it was, it was like Kevin's party. Um, but like those are two recent arcs, so like I was kind of fed up of them. But like, Okay, KO is a lot more like gag based, so I guess like they couldn't pace it like that. Um, yeah, I've also been um, watching JoJo again. Me and my sister have been watching uh, Battle Tendency, and it's good. <laughs> like, you know, the first time you watch something, you're just kind of there, and then the second time, there's kind of like you forget you've forgotten what happened almost but then you when you rewatch it you see all the things leading up to it and um caesar um from jojo like his his story was a lot more hard-hitting this time i think because you didn't like get that much um time to get to know him really um but when you watch it the second time <laughs> It's almost like you've kind of doubled the time you spent with the character, even though it's watching the same thing over again. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, Jojo, it's good. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, I've been running a Halloween promotion over at my shop. If you uh, haven't checked out my shop, um, I really appreciate it if you'd go have a look anyway. Um, you don't even have to buy anything, just like everything Ticktail is controlled by an algorithm, so like just viewing it. And if you if you fancy picking something up, that'd be great, but like, or if you think, hey, I've got a friend who loves that unicorn aesthetic, I'll send a link over to them. That would like really help me out. Um, yeah, it's really depressing that everything is controlled by an algorithm at the moment. Like, I don't know if any of you guys are on Instagram, but like, especially Instagram, I have been gaining followers, but at the same rate, I have been losing followers and losing, like, engagement. So, like, you're doing all this work and then the algorithm is, like, weeding it out of people's feeds, um, which is quite depressing. Um, and like, I think it's kind of a similar story with YouTube because obviously it's owned by Google and they are trying to optimise everyone's um, things and feed people recommended videos. Um, like with the subscription feed, when they stopped putting everything you subscribe to in your feed, that really annoys me because it's like I subscribe to these people so I don't have to keep going back and checking their channel. And like, I don't want notifications on because I don't want YouTube intruding into other parts of my life by pinging me with notifications, just like a text message. I want to keep like notifications on my phone, like they're for important things, <laughs> like uh, real people texting me or like if there's an emergency someone can get hold of me. Not like, oh hey, this artist you like has um, uploaded a video, watch it now. Um, I don't, I really don't appreciate that. <laughs> but it's quite difficult because that's like the world we live in, isn't it? Um, everything's algorithmically operated. Um, yeah, I hate it as well in the recommended videos when it recommends things that are popular that I wouldn't enjoy, like 
Markiplier. I think I've literally told YouTube that I don't want to see Markiplier videos anymore in my recommended videos and it's still it's like are you sure you don't want to watch popular internet boy markiplier and it's like he has a nice voice and he does have a dog but i don't care about video games <laughs> like i do care about video games but like let's plays are not my jam <laughs> no offense um but like i don't have time to play them myself let alone watch someone else play them so that's kind of, you know, that's, that's Liz's moaning about YouTube hour. <laughs> Leave me a comment below and let me know how you've been doing. It's been ages since I talked to you. So it'll be nice to see how you're doing. Um, tell me what you think about this drawing. All right, have a good day, guys. Bye.